Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade an iPhone 3G back to iOS 2.0 today with macOS High Sierra. So let's get started. All right, guys, so in order to downgrade the iPhone 3G to iOS 2.0 in 2023 is, first thing, make sure you have a Mac computer running a fresh, clean install of macOS High Sierra from a bootable USB stick. The reason for this is because it removes the latest security updates from Apple that prevent the downgrade from being successful. See, this security update in the latest version of iTunes will prevent the downgrade from being successful. It will make iTunes give you error minus six every single time. So that's why you gotta do a fresh, clean install of High Sierra from a USB stick to remove the security update. That if you see this in the App Store where it says one update available, you're good to go. That means you don't have it installed. Next thing is, you'll need Red Snow version 0.9 6.RC14. That's the version you'll need. And then you'll need the IPSWs, the iOS 4.2.1 IPSW for the Red Snow to identify the build, and the iOS 2.0 for the downgrade. The last thing you'll need is a tool called iAmazing. It's actually used to kick the device out of recovery mode every single time, which is very important. I'll show you guys why after the first restore. I'll have the link for everything in the description below, but since High Sierra doesn't support the Google Drive link anymore, you guys will have to use a newer computer to download the files, put them on a USB stick, then move that stick to this computer, like a computer running High Sierra. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go into Red Snow, we're going to go and connect the iPhone 3G to the cable. Then we're going to hit Browse on Red Snow. Then we're going to select the 4.2.1 IPSW. Click Open. And there we go. IPSW is successfully identified. We're going to click Next. And now, once it's done with this, we're going to click Just Enter Pwned DFU mode for now. Click Next. Then we're going to put the phone into DFU mode. So now we're going to follow the directions by holding the power on home until it powers off. Release the power button. Keep holding the home button for more than 10 seconds. And if you do this correctly, the red snow should put it into Pwn DFU mode. There we go, see? And there we go. Now it says your device should be in Pwn DFU. In this mode, you should accept custom IPSWs. This will also accept iOS 2.0 IPSW as well. But just a disclaimer, the iPhone 3G, if you're downgrading from iOS 4 to 2.2 or 2.2.1, you'll see a progress bar. If you're going for, to 2.1 and earlier, you'll see a spinning wheel the whole time. That is totally normal. We're going to hold the option key, click Restore iPhone. Then we're going to select 1.2 2.0 Restore. Double click it. And now you guys see, it's going to start restoring the iPhone to iOS 2.0. Just like that. And I want to warn you guys, when it says preparing iPhone software for a store, it'll hang there for at least five to six minutes before switching to restoring iPhone software. So in a few seconds here, we should see a spinning wheel right at the bottom there. Oh, there is the spinning wheel I was telling you that I see. This will continue to spin and spin and spin for the entire restore. There it is, waiting for iPhone. I'm going to reposition my camera here so you guys see this. Then next, it should change to preparing iPhone for software restore. That will hang for at least five minutes. Yeah, right here, you see? It will hang here for at least five minutes. So I'll go ahead and time lapse this. I saw it back and we actually got an error 1013. This is totally normal. This affects iPhones 2G and 3G and 3GS models. But you guys can now see the USB icon now change to a rounded one rather than square one. That means we're on 2.0. So 
So now we will need iMazing for this next step. But for some weird reason, during my testing, I realized that if on, every time you do it on the first try to download a 2.0 on the first restore, it will never be able to successfully get it out of recovery mode. It will always work on the second try. I do not know why, but like this, for example, see? In iAmazing, you'll get this pop-up. You'll click Exit Recovery Mode, but you guys see, every time I do on the first try, it will always go back to recovery mode. So to fix this, we'll need to go back into Red Snow and put it back into DFU mode, Pwn DFU. It will always work on the second try. I do not know why it is, but that's what I've realized from my testing. This actually affects the iPhone 2G as well, even 3GS models. Alright, so you guys can now see, I'm putting it into DFE mode right now. We're going to hit just enter pwned. You see, now it's going to put it back in a pwned DFE mode. And just like that, we're now in pwned DFE. So now we go back to iTunes and do the same thing one more time. We'll get the same error. But it will, it will, iAmazing will be able to exit the recovery mode the second time properly. Every single time. It only works on the second try every time for me. I do not know why. For you guys, it may be different, but it may come out the same way as it did for me, for you guys. So there we go. See, preparing iPhone for a store. So now I'm going time lapse. All right, guys, so I'm back, and the second restore just finished. But even though we still got the same error, and we're still in recovery mode like last time, but this time, when we go into iAmazing, it should force the phone out of recovery mode this time, properly. See, when we click, because we just did it the second time, so on the first time, it just went back to recovery mode. The second time, though, when we click Exit, you guys can now see it's now booting properly in the iOS 2.0, just like it should. So you see, when you do the restore a second time, iAmazing will be able to kick it out of recovery mode all the way this time, rather than just get stuck like it did in the first time. That's why you need to do the restore two times. Otherwise, it will, will not be able to get out of recovery mode for that reason. All right, so it should boot into iOS 2 now. Yep, there we go. So now you see one on the activation screen. You will have to put a SIM card in it to activate. But if you guys do not have the correct SIM card for this and only a nano SIM, you can literally get these adapters to allow you to use your newer SIM cards with the iPhone 3G. Pretty handy. All right, so now we're going to connect it to iTunes. You can tell we're in iOS 2 because you could not take screenshots in the activation screen like newer iOSs. So when we click up here, it should activate. Yep, there we go. And if it restarts, just leave your phone connected at all times. This is totally normal. You see, when it restarts, it's actually the iTunes is setting a language for you, which is quite in interesting, actually. You see, when we hit continue now, and there we go. So I'm not going to put it past this screen because it shows the SIM card's phone number for that reason. So I'm not going to click no on this menu for right now. All right, so you guys see, it's now syncing. So I'm going to cancel that. And now we're done with iTunes. And just like that, we've now successfully downgraded the iPhone 3G back to iOS 2.0. Just like that, iOS 2.0. And I actually have an iPod Touch here running iOS 2.0 as well. My original iPod Touch I got on eBay today. It just arrived. See, in this one, when I go settings, general, about, see, 2.0, just like that. So that is how you downgrade the iPhone 3G to iOS 2.0 today. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the video. Peace out.